Hi Sagittarius, good morning, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see what comes out for you guys, Sag. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius here. Messages for Sagittarius. What do they need to hear and know at this time? You guys have the most views, so you guys are up first. Okay. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have sabotage. So this could be self-sabotage or somebody here trying to sabotage something for you here. Somebody could have some really pretty teeth. Really pretty teeth. <laughs> like when you smile, it just lights up the whole room. <laughs> Let's see, what else for Sag? What else does Sagittarius need to know? All right. So bottom of the deck, we have glowed up. It says, a physical and mental transformation for the better. Looking yourself in the mirror and making a change. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so we have divine union. It says, sacred union between two souls. A divinely guided connection coming together. Two people on the same team. Okay, let's see. Grown, not with the childish games. Has priority straight, not willing to downgrade standards. And then it says distorted masculine, abuse of power, force, and domination, fear of weakness, competition-driven, inability to praise another. And then we have rich, having abundance, material wealth, financial stability, and security. So I'm getting here, <clears throat> this could be your divine counterpart right here. They could be going through some things is what I'm getting with this, right? Or this could be you, right? Flip and switch it. But I'm getting this person here sabotaged a connection with you and them. And I feel like you have glowed up since then. But this person here is coming out maybe as distorted because they are really, really money focused. They're focused on the material things here. And that could not be what this union is about, obviously. I feel like this union is about way more than that. But let's see what's going on here, Sage. Because they're coming out distorted. So I don't I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> I mean, it sounds bad, right? Distorted doesn't sound too good. But let's see. Okay. So let's see. What's going on here for my uh, decks will be used. I mean, will be listed in the description box below as well as um, my PO box. If you guys want to send me anything, y'all know I got a lot of decks. So I don't know what kind of decks y'all going to send if y'all want to send decks. <laughs> I have hella decks, like decks everywhere. But if you guys want to send anything else, you know, you can. My PO box is open to you guys. So let's see, what is the sabotage card here for Sagittarius? Let's see. <clears throat> so the death card, yes. Yeah, so Scorpio energy transformation here. So a transformation here is happening within you, Sagittarius, or it can be within this person. Um, I feel like somebody is getting, way, getting rid of their old ways here. Or ending something that was sabotaging a union between you two. Okay, Scorpio energy is here though with the death. Could have Scorpio in your chart. Or they could be a Scorpio. What else here? What's the sabotage for Sagittarius? Alright, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so somebody sees you as self-reliant, independent, self-sufficient here. Your money looks really, really good. I feel like you're really enjoying the fruits of your labor, um, Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be into gardening. Okay, you guys could be gardening here. Somebody could really love grapes or grapefruit. The color purple could be significant here. Somebody's favorite color could be like purple, but somebody could have like ginger hair <clears throat> with freckles. Some of you guys could have freckles, but I'm definitely getting enjoying the fruits of your labor. 
But somebody here could have broken free too from something. Yeah, the world. Something is closing out. Let's see. What else for sabotage for Sagittarius? Yeah, Ace of Wands. So a new beginning. Some of you guys are working on a new project here. But this is going towards something new. Indulging in whatever makes you feel passionate, whatever you're passionate about at this time. All right. Ace of Wands could be traveling. Some of you guys could be traveling. You're moving, relocating. But this is something here. This could be a creative project, something that you're working on, you know, that I feel like is going to elevate your finances. Definitely your finances is going to look really, really good here. But I feel like you have a strong interest in something or somebody has a strong interest in you. Let's see. What else for Sagittarius? Okay, Three of Pentacles, yeah, so a partnership, collaboration, working together as a team, networking. You're working really hard on something here, um, Sagittarius. This could be a contract here that you're signing or some type of partnership that could be coming in as far as your work goes. Some of you guys could be working on your home here. Some of you guys could have just moved in, <clears throat> okay, and you're trying to paint your home or trying to redecorate it or put things together. All right, something could definitely be happening in this fall with these leaves on the ground right here in this card. So definitely Three of Pentacles is a partnership. It's working as a team. So let's see. So this could be what somebody wants to come in and do with you or this is what you're having to do to elevate your finances. The star could be an Aquarius. Two of Pentacles. What's this Nine of Pentacles right here? Or Sagittarius. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So your money. Something about your, your money, Sagittarius. Your money is looking really good. Or it's going to be. when Whatever this part is, I feel like you're good on your own right here. But something could be coming in that's going to help your finances grow. I feel like this is whatever this is, is meant for you. This could be a windfall of money, some type of inheritance money here. This could be the start of a family. Some of y'all could be getting married. Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. For some of you, this has something to do with your twin. Definitely divine union here. So your twin could be coming in, giving you this, I mean, building building with you and it leading to the Ten of Pentacles. This talks about a happy family. I feel like both of you guys too love your space. You love your space. So I feel like, both of y'all understand that about each other, which is lovely. <laughs> I feel like that is so nice because space is so important. But yeah, Ten of Pentacles, it looks like something here is coming together in regards to your family or in regards to a family dynamic, a family situation, or it could be starting a family. But definitely abundance is here. Some type of money or finances is coming in. Okay, you're building upon something. This is you building upon an empire. Building an empire here. Building a legacy. Generational wealth. Making good investments. Yeah, stability and security is definitely here. What's this Ace of Wands? Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Sag. Yeah. Y'all are getting another bonus too. You... Leo and Taurus. Yeah, so the Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. New opportunities are coming in. Abundance is flowing in. Stability. Definitely a trustworthy offer. I'm getting something about a contract that could be definitely coming in. Yeah, that looks really nice. New, new, new. This could be you building upon just something new. But let's see. Some of y'all are just getting ready to meet your divine counterpart for the first time. But whatever you're doing for work, this could be a raise, a promotion, some type of new um, entrepreneurship, some type of uh, you becoming an entrepreneur, but definitely working on something that's going to build a solid foundation. It's going to last for a very long time. Very, for forever. <laughs> for as long as you're living, Sagittarius. What's this Three of Pentacles? So, hmm, the Page of Pentacles, yeah, building a solid foundation. Page of Pentacles is definitely hard work. It's loyalty. It's commitment. It's committing to something. Planting a seed here. 
seizing an opportunity. So this could be an offer coming into you. This is good news as far as your money goes. Definitely your money or whatever project you're working on is going to grow significantly. Like really, really. It could be coming in slow, but slow and steady wins the race. So make sure you don't sabotage whatever this is. Or this is somebody else that's trying to, that's getting their shit together to grow with you and expand with you. But definitely a gift here. I'm definitely getting, you guys are definitely very gifted. Okay, yeah, the full new beginning, eight of wands, page of wands, yeah. Something nice is coming in. Some of you guys could be tarot readers or you do something in divination. Yeah. I'm hearing somebody being influential here. So some of you guys could be influencers, some type of content creators or something like that. But your money, Sag, is woo chow. <laughs> You know, so I don't know what the sabotage is, but I feel like that it could be an outsider trying to sabotage or somebody here sabotaged this connection. And now you're moving on to new with the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. I just see a lot of frustration somewhere here. Somebody's like frustrated. What's the divine union for Sagittarius? The Eight of Swords, yeah. Somebody stuck in their head or trapped. Yeah, this could feel, be feeling restricted or bound. Yeah, this is like anxiety, fear, overthinking. So somebody could be overthinking this connection or this relationship with you and them. What is the divine union with the Eight of Swords? Because it looks like two people are happy up here. Two people really fuck with each other. They dig each other. <clears throat> and somebody from the outside maybe was trying to sabotage you or keep somebody stuck. They could have something going on with their ass. A mental disorder or something like that. What's the divine union with the eight of swords? All right, so we have the two of cups in reverse. Yeah. So a breakup, a disconnect. A rocky relationship, two people that don't really get along or that's just disconnected. We're going to keep going and seeing here. Hmm. Somebody could have blue, like light blue eyes or light green eyes. Somebody could love wearing their hair in a bun, like a messy bun. Somebody could have all white hair or like platinum blonde or gray like all gray hair like a stormy like a stormy color you guys can not picture what i'm saying but let's see what else for divine union so somebody here could be breaking up with somebody that kept them stuck in their head about this union there's something that could be over what's the divine union with the eight of swords and the two of cups in reverse somebody could have been stuck in an abusive relationship as well yeah the moon cancer energy so this was hidden here you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. That's you with the Ace of Wands. But a lot of money, a lot of uh, pentacles. So strong Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be significant. But the moon. So this is what was hidden here. Somebody could have been being deceptive about a relationship or a breakup. Or somebody was hiding the fact that they were trying to break two people up here. Yeah, the lovers, the hermit. A very strong connection where both people are really really intuitive really smart some of you guys you and your person have really done the work okay but let's see what's this eight of swords okay the justice in reverse yeah and the page of wands in reverse so i'm definitely getting jealousy here Somebody here throws like tantrums and shit when they don't get their way. It's like somebody is really spoiled. Justice in reverse is called somebody causing an injustice, okay, to a connection. Or this is what somebody did to y'all's connection. Your divine counterpart. Libra energy is here with the justice in reverse, but definitely lies. Somebody is lying about something. Something that was not fair, wasn't just... Page of Wands in reverse is like um, 
somebody here that's spoiled it though temper tantrums here this could be also talking about lack of confidence as well so somebody's insecurities could have gotten in the way they stayed stuck in their head and i feel like that's what drove them to cause an injustice to this relationship you know not making up an excuse for them because ain't no excuse but uh I feel like some, some there, there's like an outside party here. <laughs> yeah, five of wands. Somebody was in competition here, and it caused arguments and fights here. Maybe on your person's end, they were dealing with something like this. Somebody here didn't choose the wrong. I mean, chose the wrong route. I feel like somebody did something really quickly, too quickly. Somebody here gets bored fast. They get bored really quick. And I feel like they made a wrong decision. They weren't listening to their intuition. And also I'm getting, this person here has a problem with taking accountability for their actions. But now it's like getting to them. I feel like somebody was very pessimistic or like lacking confidence to fucking take this connection serious. <clears throat> Something about someone too became too um predictable. This could talk about too somebody currently like being stuck in their head. They are procrastinating on telling you the truth about something. This person like feels stuck or trapped. Okay, they're they're scared. This is like having anxiety and fear. With the justice in reverse, this is somebody that's not taking accountability. It's like they're failing to act on something that they know that they need to do. There's fear here, and definitely lies and dishonesty. So what's the two of cups in reverse? Okay, six of cups. Yeah, somebody from your past or somebody from this person's past. I feel like it's both. There could be a breakup here where children are involved, but I feel like somebody here really was very immature, very like selfish I'm getting, very naive and gullible. Six of Cups talks about immaturity. It could talk about childhood wounds as well. Like, a, um, it could have been some type of abuse. Somebody could have been in an abusive relationship is what I'm getting to. But the Six of Cups, yeah, somebody could have broken up with you and revisited someone from their past or something from their past. I feel like something from somebody's past life too needed to be healed. Yeah, it was meant to happen. Will of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. A lot of greenery here. Some of you guys need to get outside in nature. Okay, maybe for like 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, 15 to like 30 minutes a day, if you can. I feel like somebody wants to give you some type of gift and make a, yeah. The Six of Cups is soulmate energy. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. But they know that they neglected this connection where you and this person, where you thought that you and this person had a bond or a significant bond here they kind of like betrayed your trust what's the moon the sun wow yeah strong twin flame the moon the sun leo energy with the sun so i feel like somebody is working on right now trying to break free from these fears this anxiety this worrying Okay, I feel like something here is getting exposed or they know that they're going to become exposed here. But something that is hidden could be coming to light. This person has something to say. Somebody has something to say to you. Hmm. The moon, the sun. The sun talks about freedom, illumination, exposure. Positivity, joy, success, and something. I'm hearing something about revenge tactics. So somebody here, whoever this was outside of y'all, what I'm getting, they, they are very revengeful. Somebody here could have definitely had to get their money together too so y'all could be on the same level financially. Somebody was stuck with somebody that when they don't get their way, they act out is what I'm getting. What's the grown card? For Sag. So we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you got fed up and you walked away. <laughs> you went into solitude. You went to do some introspection, some shadow work here with the Eight of Cups. Or this is you walking away from this opportunity right now. But it said you're not with the Childish Games. And I strongly, I believe you, Sag. <laughs> so you walked away and I feel like you glowed up here, Sagittarius. 
Yeah, you did a lot of introspection. Some of you guys even moved away from this person. Yeah, something has just been an ongoing, tiring battle. It's like you have your guards up now and you're really closed off with the Four of Pentacles. What's this grown card with the Eight of Cups? Yeah, the Chariot moved on really quick too. Well, probably not really quick, but when you moved away from this or finally healed from this or... You know, finally seeing things for what it is, I feel like you you really, really were determined to push forward. The chariot, yeah, that's like fast movement. Strong cancer is here with the chariot and the moon. So this is like having the willpower and determination to push forward through something. This is like fortitude, pushing through whatever obstacles that was here. So definitely moving moving forward. Yeah, what else for growing? Nine of Swords was trying to come out in reverse. So I'm getting, you know, with the Nine of Swords coming out, yeah, the tower. Something here was causing you hella anxiety, Sag. I feel like you was in your head. You were stuck in your head dealing with this situation. You know, this caused you to really, really, really think about what you want and what you don't want. But I feel like this person here stressed you to fuck out. They really played. They could have played a lot of mind games here, but a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. I feel like, too, whoever this person is, your person wants to. Um, They've kind of like I'm getting the energy of them kind of like growing up now. They needed to grow up. They really needed to grow up. Let me see. What's this uh, nine of swords about? So this is like overthinking something, just being depressed, staying up late. What's this nine of swords? Okay, queen of cups. Yeah, so this could be you, Sag. Yeah, the empress. Yeah, it could be you. I feel like your intuition has been telling you something or your intuition was telling you something about this situation here. The queen of cups is somebody that's, that's psychic. I feel like you gave a lot of yourself to this connection to a lot of your emotions, a strong emotional bond with this person. I feel like somebody here took, you know, you for granted. But definitely. Um, Queen of Cups is somebody that's really empathetic, very, very compassionate, very kind, very generous. So I feel like somebody here took you for granted. They had you stuck up in your head for a long time. Or this is you, you're stuck in your head right now about something. I feel like somebody's thinking about you a lot too. How much you really gave to this connection. Which is a hell of a lot. What's the chariot? The knight of cups. Yeah, so here's some, So this is somebody coming. I feel like they're walking away from something here. Some of you guys, this is you. You could have moved forward and started dating someone new, someone else. But the Knight of Cups talks about somebody wanting to come in and compromise with you, work with you, build something with you, okay? Um, <clears throat> some of you guys really have a strong psychic bond with this person. And I feel like uh, as well as um, your psychic abilities increased here because you started noticing maybe that you were psychic, okay? But the Knight of Cups is some type of romantic proposal, an offer here that could be coming in from somebody. Yeah, from your partner, from your counterpart. <laughs> yeah, what's this grown card? I mean, what's this Eight of Cups? So the Knight of Cups, yeah. This is, I feel like somebody wants to negotiate or make something right. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, because you want equal give and take. You're not going to be breadcrumb. I feel like somebody was given to two people. This person was given to two people here. They were like the sole provider of some type of household. But the Six of Pentacles, yeah, with the Eight of Cups. I feel like you were walking away because something wasn't balanced. It wasn't equal. Now I feel like that you walked away. Somebody wants to balance something out. They could want to give you a gift. But I feel like this was you being very generous, very kind with this person. You know. Yeah. This is like reciprocity, equal give and take. Yeah, this person could have asked you for money. Some of you guys just walked away and started working on your gifts. Whatever gifts you have, 
I feel like you you gave enough to this person. You know, you really did. And I feel like you noticed that you was giving too much. Yeah, so what's this rich with this distorted masculine energy? Somebody here could need your help too. They could need your help. So the Ace of Swords. What's this rich with the distorted masculine? The lovers, Gemini energy. What's the rich with the Ace of Swords and the lovers? And the distorted masculine card. The Four of Pentacles. So yeah. Two of Pentacles. So something about this person's money. This person could be trying to brainstorm and think of new ways to um, get money here. I feel like, you know. A18, you guys could be seeing that on the clock. A18 could be a significant angel number for you. So Gemini energy. So there's some truth and clarity. There's like a breakthrough, something here happening or you finding out something. Okay, this could be some type of communication too. But this is like knowing the truth, seeing something very clear. Brainstorming ideas here, having a brilliant idea. It's like somebody's having an aha moment. Somebody, this person here wants to tell you the truth about something. They've been holding on to you <laughs> with the four of pentacles. I feel like they know that you're guarded. But I feel like somebody, something here could be coming back into balance. They could have been dealing with the distorted masculine. If you have a, a man, an actual man Sagittarius, and you're a woman here, you have a man, obviously, counterpart. They could have been dealing with a woman that's in masculine energy. You know? Could be an Aries. For some of you. I feel like they were trying to maintain two relationships. But this other relationship, I feel like they were... Mm, for some of you, they could have tried to make make it work with the past relationship. But I feel like that's not what they really wanted to do either. But let's see. What's this Ace of Swords? You had a death card. Yeah, so something here came to light. I feel like they, or something is going to come to light. And it's going to put an end to something with the death card. This is a transformation. Some, seeing something clear here. Being able to think straight. I feel like somebody was like scatterbrained or they couldn't really see past an illusion. But something here is permanently over. Somebody, some of y'all could just could be getting like a windfall of money here. I feel like somebody too is distorted because of the fact that they don't have any money. So somebody could have been a little depressed, like moody or all over the place because they didn't really have money. But it's because they were giving to somebody that was like greedy or selfish or spoiled or... When they don't get their way, they throw tantrums and shit. Yeah, what's the four of pentacles? The tower. Scorpio Aries energy. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people could have had their hands out here. This person could be an artist, they could paint, or they could be really, really um creative. They could dress really nice as well. They have a good sense of fashion. But I feel like this person was all over the place. They had too many hands. People had their hands out uh, for uh, asking this person for different things and having them going from... I feel like they had a lot on their plate, really. But the tower talks about destruction. It could talk about like chaos and shit like that. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something here is changing or has changed. Okay, with the Tower and the um, Four of Pentacles. Something here is going to come out. Something that somebody is holding is going to come out. Somebody could have been stealing from this person. Somebody found the truth out about someone being a thief. Or this could be somebody stealing from you. But I feel like it's going to come out. Four of Pentacles is like possessiveness, control. This could talk about greediness, not willing to share. Okay being closed off and i feel like whatever that shit is is going to break down or this is what somebody had a breakdown involving their i feel like holding on to their i feel like somebody is financially insecure too 
So that that way of thinking or being, I feel like it's breaking down. They're having a tire moment because it's like they they're being like greedy or selfish or not wanting to open up about something. What's the tower with the four pentacles? Or because they're so greedy and they hold on to money too tightly or they're all about material things. Spirit wants this person to stop being that way. Yeah, the two of swords. So yeah, a stalemate. Somebody's experiencing a stalemate in their finances. I feel like whoever this distorted person is, it could be a karmic that's here that's distorted. Hmm. Two of Swords is like uh, having to make a tough decision, trying to choose between two paths, being closed off, not wanting to see the truth of a situation. Yeah, being in denial about something. Somebody here was blind, though. They couldn't see something or they just didn't want to. I feel like somebody's very possessive, very controlling. Somebody has been trying to control your finances or this person's. But what's this lovers? This could definitely be a choice between two. Let's go talk about balance, duality, a kindred spirit, union. The lovers with the temperance. Yeah, so balance being restored here. So something here is balancing out. It could be somebody's money, eight of pentacles. Somebody here could have gotten a new job or you're getting a new job here. But the eight of pentacles is like implementing a new skill, being focused. Okay. After setting clear boundaries, Queen of Swords. Could be, yeah, this is you, Sag. So something is coming into balance. It could just be you coming into balance. But for some of you, it is a union that's balancing out. It could be uh, temperance talks about reconciliation, soulmate energy, definitely divine timing. So this connection had to happen in divine timing is definitely what I'm getting. You know? divine intervention the divine is intervening to um i feel like to try to bring you and this person together but the divine is definitely intervening in um this person's life so they can get their finances together temperance talks about healing restoration as well so definitely a soulmate connection is significant between yeah you and your person what um what else for Sagittarius spirit? Bottom of the deck, we have tipping point. Everything can change all at once. Urgent action needs to be taken. Critical point in a situation. So yeah, definitely with the butterfly here. So definitely transformation. Balance with the with the stones right here. So I feel like your spirit guides and your angels are trying to balance something out. And you and this person's connection, strongly feeling that. To get prepared for this three of pentacles, this union. I feel like both you and your person are hard workers. But they definitely did something in the past that they need to tell you the truth about. What else? Reconsider. Fell over the sun. Consider new directions. Evaluate every thought and action. Reconsider what is possible. What's this reconsider card about? What do you what do you need to reconsider? Goddess. Awaken the goddess within you. Express your divine feminine energy. Unleash your magic. I'm getting the Empress with that card. Yeah, soulmate. Story unfolds. So blessings. Okay. So for some of y'all, I'm really getting that if you moved on, maybe I'm not gonna tell you not to go towards new. But there's something significant about this connection that you need to reconsider because I feel like for some of you, right, your person is definitely, I feel like they're genuine. I really do. But y'all had to break up for a very specific reason. And I feel like you should at least give this person a chance to talk to you about it, right? Even if you know it, don't be the type to be like, oh, well, I told you so, or, you know, I feel like, um, you know your worth now. So if this person tries to come in with some fuck shit, you let it go, right? But I feel like for you guys, there's a specific connection that could be revisited if you give it a chance, you know? Now, I ain't saying you got three aces here, so maybe you, you should you need to go to, towards. Now, I feel like it's 50-50 for a lot of y'all, you know? 
But it says galaxy wheel. What goes around comes around. The wheel is turning in your favor. An invitation to turn things around. Yeah, so something that was that you manifested in the past or a blessing is coming back. Yeah, confusing situation becomes clear. Something is going to come out about this. What else? Yeah, the moon right in reverse. Can't make it up. Yeah, it says something is not what it appears to be. What is hidden will soon be exposed. There is no clear answer at this time. Yeah. Yeah, and then we have distant past. So long ago, it's almost forgotten. Your past is affecting your present. It will take a very long time. Yeah, something took a while. Something is taking a while. Yeah. Entangled. Stuck in a complicated situation. Stuck in a rut or repeating a cycle. There is no easy exit strategy. So somebody here definitely kept a cycle on repeat that's what that's what it was this person was not ready at the time <clears throat> they weren't ready at the time but I, f I feel like an energy of um love here <laughs> just you know sorry to break it to you Sag but I do feel genuine energy you know I know a lot of y'all probably don't want your past or you don't care about this union but it's very specific for somebody okay like this union is very important so this was your reading, guys. I hope it resonated. Let me know in the comments how this, you know, resonated for you. Let me know what's going on, how you're feeling about your union, <laughs> okay? And um, definitely run your views up, bring your likes up so you guys can keep getting your bonuses and being in first place like you are today. And um, definitely don't forget to look down in the description box for more information. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.